120 and plans to use one side of his barn as a part of the enclosure. Let X represent the length of one side of the fencing. All right, let's determine a function, blah, 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 graph the function, view I don't care anything about that. Um, and draw a picture of it. Now, we know, it should say, speak for the barn, he has 120 feet of plant, 120. Okay, the barn is, okay, I see what the question's asking now. That really is not going to work very well because What are you going to do if you want to, okay, maybe maybe you can drive a tractor through the barn, but if you want to feed them a brown bale of hay, and you don't want to put it near the fence because you don't want to dump it over the fence, okay, I'm sure. You're going way over my head. Yeah, because <laughs> you never want a fence with just one opening. you got to have a gate somewhere to get inside the fence. So yeah, it's really painful. <laughs> this farmer is not very smart. Anyway, we'll shut up. He wants to use this side. There's the barn wall right there, and this is the door going into the barn. So we're talking about fencing this area, this area, and this area. And I got to turn on the whiteboard. I didn't turn it on. So as far as perimeter goes, perimeter is x plus x plus 120 minus 2x. Everybody understand that? Now, where did the 120 minus 2x? Well, that's going to be if you take the 120 feet of fencing minus this fencing and this fencing, that's what's left right here. Because he wants to use all of the fencing. There's 120 20 feet of fencing. Okay, so I want you to look at those three sides and see if you understand what he's doing. He's got 100, he's got one roll. Think of it a roll of fence. Fencing. That, uh, we call it we call it pig wire, you know, that has the squares in it. That's what we call it on the farm, pig wire. Alright, because pig can't go through it. And pigs are pretty stubborn okay but the pig wire we call it, it comes in a roll and let's say there's a roll of 120 feet okay that's all the fencing he's got so how's he gonna measure it off well he's gonna measure it off by this algebraic sentence that says okay the two sides are going to be x they're going to be the same and then the middle is going to be 120 feet of fencing minus those two sides now, why does he use the 120? Because that's all the fencing he's got. If he had two rolls of fencing, it would be 500. See what I'm saying? Okay, so that's what the equation is. So if you wanted to find the perimeter, then you would say length plus width plus length. That would be x plus x plus 120 minus 22x. But it doesn't say they want the perimeter. What does it say it wants? What is the maximum area the farmer can enclose? What is area? Length times what? Width. Length is 120 minus 2x. What's the width? X. X. So we need to multiply 120 minus 2x times x to find the maximum area. Go ahead and do that. I'm going to get my whiteboard pulled up. Just give me a second. Why don't they put the whiteboard on this? I wonder if it's called Epson. No. Gotta go out of this. Maybe in 2024, these computers will be up to snuff with people that use technology. What is technology? <laughs> yeah, exactly. We think technology is taking a camera and turning it to the. Still can't believe she did that. Mm -hmm. And wasn't your wasn't your teacher? Uh, turn the camera to turn. Yeah. So she turned the camera. So she because she doesn't present the screen. Turn the camera so she can show the whiteboard. Okay. The actual race board. Yeah, that's <laughs> nice. Can y'all see that? Yeah. 
Y'all you know, just sitting there going, what the hell is she doing? Uh -huh. All right, so we're going to take our handy dandy. I'm just going to switch it to the next board. And there's what they're saying. Area is width times length. So it's going to be 120 times length. Now, the common error is for you to include more than you have to and say 120 minus x, 2x times x times x. No, you don't have to do that. You just have to multiply length times what? Width. Okay? People blowing up the phone. Okay, I don't know. Okay, I thought, I thought it was my mom. Okay, so that's going to be 120 minus 2x in parentheses times x. And what are you going to do with that x? You're going to distribute it. Oh my gosh, what do we have? We have a quadratic. So now we can use completing the square. Okay. Since x represents a length, x has to be positive. Anybody ever heard of negative 2 feet? x is positive. Also, 120x is positive because you can't get a negative length. I'll tell you what, I'll give you a $100 bill for anybody that can give me a road sign with a negative mileage on it. <laughs> Putting these restrictions together gives you 0 to x to 60. All right, where'd the 60 come from? Well, what's 120 divided by 2? 60. Okay, I'm sorry. 120 divided by 2 is 60. I said 120. Yeah, 120 divided by 2. So they're getting the 60 from the two sides. They're basically saying that you don't have any negative lengths in the, and in, 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 I shouldn't have to tell you that because there's no such thing as a negative length. Okay. All right. Now, if you, let's go ahead and do completing the square because I'm not going to use the calculator because I don't want to depend on it because then I'd be a, person that can't spell mom backwards in the future. <clears throat> Negative 2x squared plus 120x plus blank is equal to 0 plus blank. Factor out a negative 2. x squared minus 60x plus blank is equal to 0 plus 2 times blank. Half of 60 is what? 30 squared is? 900. Y'all are so smart. I don't know where y'all get this from. It's almost like somebody has taught y'all how to do this. What? Negative 2, x minus what? 30, quantity squared, is equal to negative what? So our vertex, right here, what would that be? That would be our maximum value. Our maximum is at 30 and 1,800. So what is the maximum area we can get in our handy-dandy pasture? 1,800 square feet. <laughs> By using 30 as x. So that means the sides will be 30, and then the inside will be what? Whatever you type in 30. What is it? What was the uh, formula before? Take out an x. That would be negative 2x plus 120. So you type in negative 30. That would be negative 60 plus 120. So the, the side, the length of the barn would be 60. And then the other sides would be 30. Okay? But I don't know what else they're asking for. But we're going to go ahead and find your uh, x-intercepts. So x-intercept is going to be 0, 0, it looks like. Because, yeah. The y intercept, yeah. The y intercept is 0, 0. Okay? And that's going to be one of your y intercepts, but we'll go ahead and finish it. Divide by negative 2, oh, vertex. We, we did that vertex right there. Okay, negative 2, negative 2, x minus 30 quantity squared is equal to 900. Square root, x minus 30 is equal to positive or negative what? 30 x is equal to positive or negative 30 plus 30. So that's either going to be 0 or what? 60. 
There's that 60 again. Okay? So, this right here is 0, 0, and this right here is 60, 0. So, if you use 60, you would get basically 0. That wouldn't work. 60 would not work. But 30, 30 feet, x is equal to 30 feet, would give us the maximum area of that pasture. Really, it's not a pasture. A pasture is more than an acre, but or I don't know what a pasture is definition, but a farmer's definition. That would be a more of a corral. Shut mm -hmm. up. Holding pen. That's what we call it. We don't call it a corral. When you're farm boy, there's a difference between a farm boy and a cowboy, okay? Farm boy calls a corral a holding pen. That's the difference. All right. And farm boy don't have to have $1,500 worth of clothes to work on the farm. Huh? Seriously. <laughs> yeah. Got to have got to have a certain kind of boots. What is it? Justin's got to have a certain kind of boot. Got to have a certain kind of pants. Got to have a certain kind of hat. No. Cowboy. Not a cowboy. Huh? A cowboy hat. Yeah, you got to have a certain kind of cowboy hat, yeah. Oh. It's I would stuff. not wear my nice cowboy hat outside to work with animals. Exactly. I mean, honestly. Exactly. You go because the first time you're going to get manure splattered all over it. First time. Seriously. Huh? I wear a cowboy hat. Too. That's what <laughs> farm boys usually wear, baseball cap. I wear a baseball cap sometimes. Sometimes I don't even wear, you know, perfect hair. You don't need it. But anyway. I can't. I can't really speak for the boots part, though. I have some Tony Lawless. <laughs> well, I'll be honest with you, and I will say something about the boots. I got a pair of uh, Rockies, and I don't know if y'all know what Rockies are, but they're cowboy boots that are work boots. And mm -hmm. boy, I love those boots. And they're about two or three years old, and they 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 still good as gold. They're about two hundred dollars, but when you got feet with bad ankles, you have to have good boots. But I'll say that ain't bad. Though. Yeah, but they're work boots, and then I got another pair that I wear, you know, with jeans. I know y'all don't care, but anyway, the whole point is, no, they're kind of rounded. Oh. Yeah, they look like work boots, but they're also look like cowboy boots. Yeah, you have to look it up. You just Google it. You know, buy you a pair. Okay, I think they got it. Yeah, there's 1,800 square feet. These are some real boots. You know, them polo boots. Everybody. Yeah, I need to get yeah, I need to get those and wear those jeans that 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 look like they're about to strangle you to death so I can <laughs> look like a dumbass. All right. I'm sorry. Shut up, you you're turning redneck. Right? All right. So, you got you got I'm, 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 do all this on your calculator. I don't care. You, this is irrelevant now because you know how to do it by hand. So, you can do it by hand or you can do it on a calculator. I don't care. Okay? Anything as far as area, anything can be measured. Usually in a parabola form, you can find the maximum and the minimum. Okay? And that is called the what? The vertex. Here's another example. A machine produces rectangular sheets of metal satisfying the condition that the length is three times the width. Furthermore, equal size squares measuring five inches on the side can be cut from the corners so that the resultant piece can be shaped into an open box by folding flaps up. Here's the box. Okay. Now find the volume of that box. I think that's what they're wanting to know. The volume. The maximum volume. Yeah. There it is. Okay, so we're going to take those three measurements and we're going to multiply them. So I want you to do that. I'll go back to the original. I thought that's where they were going. I just want to take those three and we're not going to, I'm not going to change that slide. I want you to do it algebraically. This actually tells you what you have learned in the last couple of weeks. If you can't do it, then that shows you that I have failed you as a teacher. And it's all my what? Fault. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Not white women. Not Russians. Let's see. What else is there? 
There's several other. <laughs> yep, I sure am. I have to do extra two miles or a mile to eat these things, so they are already good. They're about out again. <laughs> Evidently, I'm not the one eating them all. Whatever, you eat them all. I eat every Monday and Wednesday, I get one. Leave me alone. So <laughs> what? So the, other guy the Tuesday and Thursday class, he gets one on Tuesday and Thursday. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not the only one because that same thing was loaded the other day. I mean, it had like 15, 20 packs in there. And now they're gone. Well, here at the Anderson campus, we don't have a selection to choose from. <laughs> this ain't freaking Walgreens, okay? <laughs> it needs to be. Well, we should uh, have at least a decent food selection. We tried that two or three times. We tried to have a canteen. We tried to have people bring in food. And we tried to have over here at the kitchen. We had people come in and use the kitchen. And the people just wouldn't buy the food. We have given it the old college try. Mm -hmm. So, using the FOIL method, say it however you'd like, five times three x squared minus 10x minus 30x minus plus 100. That's going to be 5 times 3x squared minus 40x plus 100. 15x squared minus 200x plus what? 500. All right, find the max, find the vertex. I wonder if you could take a bag of these, one of the big five pound trolley bags, put them in a big you know, one gallon Ziploc bag and soak them in tequila. I wonder if that can be good. Hmm? I know you can do vodka. I can't do vodka, I'm sorry. It never happened April 2. Even when I was in high school, I couldn't do it. I don't drink, but vodka's nasty. I can't, I can't take it. Tequila's not even alcohol, that's a drug. <laughs> Tequila makes your clothes come on. Yeah. <laughs> Tequila makes everybody crazy. Yeah, I mean, it makes everybody crazy. That's why they call it loco. Okay, I'm going to take it to the other screen. There it is. So negative 15x squared minus 200x plus blank is equal to negative 500 plus blank. Take the negative 15 out. Somebody divide 100 by 15. What do you get? Dang old 8? What is it? I don't know. I'm just asking. 100 by 15 is 10. 10. No, it's not. That'd be 150. Oh, you said 200 divided by 15. 200. It's like forty thirds. If okay. You, if you so we need to we need to do it. We need to okay two hundred divided by fifteen. So it's not it doesn't come out as an even number. No okay. sir. All right. Uh, five will go into twenty forty five times, right? Or forty times. Thank you. So that's forty over three. Is that what we get? I put 
Five times 40 is 200. Makes sense. But that's not what he said. That's not what? That's not what you said. I'm, I'm doing correct. two or three things up here at a time in my head. Leave me alone. 40 over 3x plus blank is equal to negative 500 plus negative 15 times blank. Half of 40 thirds is 46, right? And 46 is 1,600 over 36? Mm-hmm. <laughs> what? I messed up from the very beginning. So My own was looking nice and pretty, too. Yeah. Right. I was talking about multiple five. That was so damn. <laughs> Might as well just give up. But I was doing it right because it was working out so well for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, somebody tell me what negative 15 times 1600 is. Negative 15 times 1600. Why is it negative 15? Yeah. Well, I factored out a negative 15 over here. Whatever Did you factor out, negative? you have but to it was positive 15x squared from the beginning. 15x squared. Oh, I suck. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> hey, we waited 10 minutes like you asked. Did I just hear somebody grunt? <laughs> y'all can't communicate, but y'all can grunt. Okay. <laughs> All right, what is 15 times mm -hmm. 1,600? What? 24,000. Okay, 24,000. 24. And somebody multiply 500 times 36. 2,000. Y'all check my math. That's calculator drill team. So that's 15 times x plus 40 thirds quantity squared. What is that, 6,000 over 36? That is correct. And that's your vertex. So that's going to be your maximum. So somebody take 40 divided by 3. That's going to give you 1, 3, 13.3. And that's going to be negative. And then the maximum, what's 6,000 divided by 36? It's going to be a minimum, sorry. 166 point, and then a whole bunch of other numbers. 166.6? Yeah. That's good enough for government work. Uh, Hubert, I have a question. Uh oh, that means I got an error somewhere. What? No, no. Uh, uh, blah, 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 where am I? Um, okay, for the 16,000 over 36 multiplied by 15, 18, um, why, didn't you, why didn't you simplify that, the 16,000 over 36? You can't. 1,600 over 36. You can. I just didn't right. because I didn't want to change horses in midstream. You can. Just like I could simplify 6,000 over 36. I just didn't. You can if you want to. Okay. Now, I'm going to multiply, divide by 15, so somebody, what's 36 times 15 again? X, 15, okay, I'm going to get rid of that, Hubert. What did you say 15 times 36 is? 24,000. So X, I have no idea what they want, but... I have a question. Yes. Um, where you have the... In parentheses, you know, the x plus 40 over 3 quantity squared. Does it need to be 40 over 6? I'm sorry, 40 over 3. Wait, oh, yeah, you have the God. step 3. Yeah, I did it in my head. 40 divided by 3. Okay, thank you. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm sorry. Thank <laughs> you, whoever that was. Thank you. Yeah, I think I just did. 
<laughs> Go live in a ditch in a cardboard box. You know, yep, that's what you know what it is. I got Thank paid. I got paid today, oh, yeah. and I'm just wanting to just party. Is what it is. Yeah, Between alimony, child support, and my house payment, she, yeah, I need to borrow money. X plus forty over six, right? Equals six thousand mm -hmm. over. And I went ahead and multiplied to fifteen times thirty-six. So somebody check and make sure I hadn't messed up anything else. I messed up X plus 40 over 6 quantity squared is equal to, I got 6 over 24, which is 1 over what? 4. And all that, we end up with a nice perfect square. <laughs> square root of both sides. X. Okay, wait, I think I'm noticing a mistake. <laughs> I was checking it once that, okay, I think the um, 40 over 6 is supposed to be negative in the um, left side. Oh, it is. God almighty. This, uh, just, okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just start over, okay? I'm, I'm pissed now, so now I'm just going to start over. I'm sorry. Uh, I, that's because I put that negative. I don't know where I got that negative 15 a while ago. I just screwed everything up. Think about the it, 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 yeah, that's what I want smokestacks on my truck. <laughs> Plus blank is equal to negative 500 plus blank. I really don't know where that negative 500 came 15, but anyway, don't be 15 sorry. x squared <laughs> minus, now what was 200 divided by 15 come down to? 13 or something. No, it was... 16. 40 That's over 3. 40 over 3. You're right, Miss. That was supposed to be a negative. Plus blank is equal to negative 500 plus 15 times blank. 40 divided by 3 is 40 over 6. 46 is 1600 over 36. Okay. All right, so that's going to be 15 x minus 40 over 6. Make sure I don't screw that up again. Equals, and you can change this or whatever. I don't care. If you want to take out the 15 and 36 and make it 1,600 over 12, and you know, let's do that. Let's just, let's just do that. Okay, 3 will go into... 15, 5 times, 3 will go into 36, 12 times, and the 12 and the 1600 will cancel. 6 are wanted. 2 times, that'll be 800. So we take your math. Right? Over 6, and then that will cancel, and that'll be what? 400 over 3? Somebody check me. And that's going to be 2000 over 3. Now I'm going to take a minute and make sure I didn't screw that up. And that would be negative right. 1,500 over 3. And I'm just going to wait and make sure that everybody confirms that I didn't screw it up. <laughs> That's correct. You're good. <laughs> now, now I am going to have to have sunglasses, a milk jug, and smokestacks. You didn't know you know, carrying around a gallon of water makes you bigger for yeah, it makes you makes you whatever yeah, arm walk around pumped up. Whatever arm you carry. That's what you. That's what I googled. It's like twelve ounce kernels. Mm -hmm. like you're just carrying that one arm and just walk around and just get pumped. That one arm. I swear, there's some <laughs> stupid people out there, and people I think wonder what's going on. People I wonder your arms so big. <laughs> people wonder why I stay on the farm. I stay on the farm because not because of PSD or PTSD. I stay on the farm because I don't like to be around stupid people. Why are you? <laughs> 15, because I'm the master of my universe in my classroom and I can take it. You put me in a store and I'll quit. I hate my job. I hate my job. Need 1,500 plus 2,000 is 500 over 3. Now we've got, I hope, I hope 40 over 6 reduces down to 20 over 3. So that would be 20 over 3. 
and 500 over 3 turns out to be 166. One, six, six. One, six, six, and that would be negative. I was hoping it would be positive. We'll check it on the next slide. And now, just to find your vertexes, multiply by 15, that's going to give you, divide by 15, multiply by 500 over 45. So x minus 40 over 6, quantity squared, is equal to 500 over, what did I say, 45? And I'm going to take the square root of both sides, which is going to be a cluster. But I'm going to try to, I'm going to reduce some, okay? So this would be 20 over 3, right? X minus 20 over 3 is equal to, hopefully this will reduce down to something, 5, that would be 100 over 9, 100 over 9, and that's squared. So I'm going to take the square root, and that's going to give me X minus 20 over 3, is equal to positive or negative 10 over 3. And that's going to give us x is equal to positive or negative 10 over 3 plus 20 over 3. So 10 plus 20 is 30 over 3, which is 10. And the other one's going to be 0, 0, isn't it? Negative 10, no. Negative 10 plus 20 is 10, right? And 10 over 3 is still going to be positive. It's going to be 3.33. Y'all check me. Uh, uh, I don't know. It might be 3.33. Check. Yeah, check. So it looks like to me, just drawing a little bitty sketch, negative, okay, 20, that's what, 6 and 2 thirds? Positive 6 and 2 thirds, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 2 thirds, and negative, I mean, way the heck down here somewhere. And then we've got a, yeah, it'd be on the yeah, 3 and right here, and 10 be over here, so it's going to be something like that. All right. Now, we have found. The minimum volume, or that's why I'm confused, because usually you have a maximum volume. Um, let's see what how they turn this around. Okay. Did okay. They set it equal to 1435. Okay, and that's what would happen if you did 1435. I missed that part. They said the maximum is, let's go back to the original. You basically found, you found the, of the box, but they said in the original, there it is, if specifications call for the volume to be 1435, what would be the dimensions? Now, we could do that without using and I'll show you how. It's a trick learned in the war. You take your handy dandy calculator. Keep. And I might have showed you all this in class. I don't know. When you set them equal to each other, you can also use your calculator and draw y is equal to, what was it, 1435? And do it that way. So, somebody tell me the original problem. X squared what? Let me go up here because it's doing it with the mouse is just aggravating. So turn it on. Y is equal to X squared. Was it 15X squared? 15X squared. Hold on a minute. Minus 150 X plus what? 450. And then go down here and type in Y is equal to 14 35. Everybody with me? And hit graph. And of course it's not going to show, so we're going to have to zoom out because the Y intercept is what? 14, what was the Y intercept? 450? So let me go to window. 
and let me type in X. I'm going to leave the X men's. What was our X intercept on the right? 30? So I'm going to go with 30 or 50 right here. And then I'm going to go down here and I'm going to put negative 10 to what was the Y intercept? Uh, 450. So I'm going to go to 1,000 and grab. See, I knew something was wrong with that negative, or is that what we got? I don't know if we got that or not. I can't remember. I don't even see my, oh, 1435. The window has to be 1435, so I'm going to go to 1500. Something tells me something was wrong with that, with our outcome. Because I was down in the fourth quadrant, and I know that's not right. Okay, so here we go. Do a intersect, go second, trace, or second, yeah, trace, and I'm going to find the intersect, and I'm going to hit the first curve, see that's why it's aggravating, go away, enter, enter, and then I'm going to go over here, Now this one's on the negative side. Do we, from a business standpoint, do we want the negative? No. Go ahead and write it down. At negative 4.5, we're going to hit 1435 as far as cubic inches or whatever. But we both said, we've already said that you can't have a negative what? Distance. So negative 4, so just cancel that out. Just draw an X through it. Put negative 4. 0.52 comma 1435 and then put an X through it and then put cannot have negative distance. So your positive distance is the one that you really want. So I'm going to hit intersect and here and here and I'm going to go over to the right side and at 14.5, x is equal to 14.5. My son and me, we have fun with these things. Ask it a joke. You suck. No, it's not. It's not working. I asked my computer uh, for a joke the other day. Cortana, you suck. Doesn't work. Oh, I want. We do that. Me and my son do that. Do all kind of thing. Sing a song, whatever. Alexa, is it Alexa or whatever? Sing a song. I cannot sing. <laughs> all right. Okay. So 14.5. So that's the answer they're looking for. They're looking for 14.5. I want to go back because I don't think my I don't think my I don't think my graph is right. I think it's supposed to be negative 500 thirds. So somebody needs to check that out for me. Also, when we put it in, was the 150 supposed to be a 200? The 150 supposed to be a 200? Okay. Yeah, yeah. Well, it would be nice if somebody would tell me the right. My bad, my bad. One more, one more. Y'all could have said something before we put all the work in. Jesus. <laughs> no, I, I, I... Okay, just forget it. We're going to go to another problem. I'm, I'm, I'm sick of doing this. I got people telling me the wrong things. But I appreciate the Pendleton campus. Y'all tell me the right things. Thank you. <laughs> the Anderson campus is on drugs. Hey, man. You ain't got to call me out like that. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Gould, where did, where did 150 come from, Mr. Gould? I don't Gould? even know. Don't you know. don't even know. You mad dog 2020. <laughs> Let's go to something else. I can't tell. Okay, basically, you can use your completing the square for these problems, okay? That's what we're trying to tell you. All right. Oh. Now, I do like this problem. This is the kind of test problem I would give you on a test. So, read the first paragraph. The long, and this is a survey of questions, so I like these questions. 
The longer leg of a right triangle is approximately 20 meters longer than twice the length of the shorter leg. Now, if you don't know what the shorter leg is on a triangle, we have problems, okay? Because there's three <laughs> legs. One of them's really not a leg, it's a side, okay? There's two legs on all triangles. The two legs are the two that are not slanted, okay? The slant is called the hypotenuse. That is a side, okay? Two legs make up the side. Anyway, the longer leg, which is the bottom of the right triangle, is approximately 20 meters stronger than twice the length of the second leg, so of the shorter leg. So the shorter leg is X, okay? And the hypotenuse is 10 meters longer than the length of the side. So you've got everything right there. Now, what is that thing called with triangles that stems off of Pythagoras? 12 years of high school. 12 years of school. Hey, what what is derived what? Mr. Pythagoras? <laughs> Pythagorean theorem, Hubert. That's right, oh, class. Oh, oh, a, oh. Sorry. Uh, a squared plus B squared equals C squared. Yeah, 15 <laughs> minutes later, yes. <laughs> I didn't hear you the first time. Okay, there it is. A squared plus B squared is equal to C squared. Write it out to the side because this is the type of question I will ask you on a test. Why do I pick this question? One, because I like it. Two, because it has applications in the real world. And three, if you go to a standardized test, this is the question they're going to ask. Well, used to be. I don't know about now. Now they all ask who was the first person that did this and who's the first person that did this. They don't ask you who the fifth president was. They ask you who's the first person that did this and the first person that did this. Anyway, shut up, Hubert. A squared plus b squared is equal to c squared. So here is your short side. That's x squared. Here is your other leg. The other leg is 2x plus 20. And this is the what? That's the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side, and it's always c. Now, I know all of you know this. Okay, because you would not, one, have graduated high school, or two, you would not be in high school, or three, you would not be in college if you have never seen the Pythagorean theorem, because it's on all standardized tests, it's in all pre-algebras, it's in all algebras, and if you have not seen it, that's like not seeing the Andy Griffith show. Nobody's ever not seen it. You may have not watched it, but everybody's seen it, because it comes on, it's been on for 61 since 1961. So to say you've never seen it is not right. Now, whether you understand the Pythagorean theorem or whether you learn the Pythagorean theorem, that's another question. But everybody has seen it. Okay? And x squared, you can't do anything with x squared, so what? You just bring it down. What is this? This is shortcut number one, Hubert. That thing that I refuse to learn that keeps haunting me. Yes. 4x squared plus 40x of 80x plus 400. And then this is shortcut number what? Number one, Hubert. 4x squared plus 2 times 3 is 6. 6 times 2 is 120 plus 900. Now, simplify this. The x squared, x squared plus 4x squared is 5x squared. 5x squared minus 4x squared is what? 1x squared. Now, 80x plus 120x, that 120x comes over across the river, and it becomes a what? Negative. It's positive over here. It comes over here. You were thinking the other way. Okay? So that's 80 minus 120 is negative 40. Notice I'm sticking to the slides because I don't want to mess this up. All right. And then 900, you bring it across the river, and it becomes what? Negative 900, and that gives you 500. Now we're going to do this by completing the square. 
Negative x squared minus 40x minus 500. Write it down. Because they do the easy way. I want to make sure when you get to calculus, you know how to complete the square. Okay. And you don't sit there and go, uh, <laughs> I know how to do quadratic formula. You were never taught that. Yeah, that's exactly <laughs> what y'all all will say. You were never taught us that. All right, so take your handy dandy whiteboard. Y'all got it written down? Yes. Not you. <laughs> Got down right no, I'm not asking you anything anymore. <laughs> I like to get the answer right. Well, yeah, I try to let you do that your first time, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, whatever. You messed that up. I so. messed it up. Yeah, so it's my fault <laughs> that you gave me the wrong thing. Okay. Yeah. All right, so what is it? I done forgot it. What is it? I I'm not asking you. <laughs> Miss Shuttleworth. What yes, is sir. It? The rest what of is? the formula? Yes. Uh, x squared minus 40x minus 500 equals zero. Mm -hmm. And that's going to be x squared minus 40x plus blank is equal to 500 plus blank. Half of 40 is 20 squared. Negative 20. X minus 20 quantity squared is equal to 9 what? 100. So your vertex is, I don't know what they're asking here, um, but 20, 1, 2, 20, and then 900, 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900 to be up here. And it's not going down, so we're just going to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There we go. There's our vertex. Um, Hubert, I have a question. Oh, God, what I mess up now? Oh, well, I was just wondering why you didn't just factor the x squared minus 40x minus 500. We already talked about that. You didn't listen. Oh. They did it the easy way. We're doing it complete the square because I want to make sure everybody knows how to complete the square in first variable calculus. Got it. Y'all know Sorry. how to factor. And y'all know how to sing the quadratic formula, I'm sure. <laughs> and heaven forbid you know how to use that dadgum calculator. But give you completing the square, and that's like giving you to spell mom backwards. Some of y'all, So I'm making sure that everybody in here knows how to use completing the square. So that's going to be 20, comma, it's supposed to be negative 900. Don't worry. So I'm, I'm just not hitting it today. It's just. Why is it negative 900? Because the vertex is always the opposite. Oh. Positive 20, negative 900. Right. Positive 20, negative 900 would be down here. Yeah. The y intercept is negative 500. Negative 500 would be right in here. Let's go ahead and find the x intercepts. So that's going to be x minus 20 is equal to positive or negative 30. At least I can do that. x is equal to positive or negative 30 plus 20. The 50 comma negative 30 and what? 10, negative 10? Yes, so sir. Negative 10 would be right here. And positive 50, 20, 40, 30, 40, 50. So the parabola looks like this and your positive 30 plus 20 50 is probably what they're wanting okay because that's your X but let's see what they want I see what they do Did y'all hear? Is that a mouse? I thought I heard something. I thought I heard something. I mean, y'all, y'all let me know if y'all hear it. But anyway, there's your answer, 50. Why is it not negative 10? Because negative 10 gives us a negative distance, and you can't have. Just go to Lowe's and say you want negative 10 feet of lumber. <laughs> See what they say. Yeah, I want negative 10 feet. Two by four. 
That's about like going to Lowe's and asking for a 50, 100 cents wrench and watching them scratch your head. They'll actually go look for it. I've done it before. All right, there basically, I'm not going into all this graphing because y'all can graph, you know, y'all can twirl that calculator around on your finger like a basketball, so I'm not worried about that. Those three questions, those are test questions. If you see a test question, it'll be probably this one. That's the test question I'll probably give you. So if you got that one down, make sure you know how they get these numbers right, I mean, get these sentences right here. And that's all I'm going to do on this section. What is this, 3-4? Yeah. Yeah, I'm not. You're probably talking about one question. 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three is a continuation of what you did before. Um, I'll show you right quick. 3-3. Three, three. Well. Well. You were having a bad age. I'm having a terrible day. Um, let's see. 3-3. Three, 3-3 three. Three, three is... Well, it's going to come up, hopefully. And like I say, if you could, if you did 3-1 and 3-2, then you should be able to do 3-3. Three, three. See? And we talked about this. Find, uh, find the x-intercepts of 2x squared plus 4x minus 16. Um, and then go through all of that. x squared minus 6x plus 9. 3-3 three, three is just a continuation of 3-1 and 3-2, so I'm really not concerned with 3-3. Three, three. If you could do 3-1 and 3-2, then you can do 3-3, three, three, so I'm not really concerned. So let's look. What's the next section? 4-1? Or do we do any more in 3? Look in the outline right quick for me. 4.1. I think this is more calculating. Yeah. This is more calculator stuff. I'll go over it with you, but it's not. Most of this, the rest of this test is calculator stuff. Now, I've already told you this. Write down this. This is very important. Okay. When you have a cubic function, meaning you have an odd function, AX cubed, AX to the fifth, AX to the seventh, okay? AX to the fifth, AX to the seventh, AX to the eleventh. When your leading coefficient or leading term or degree of your polynomial, that's your highest degree, that's your highest right here, third degree polynomial, fifth degree polynomial, seventh degree polynomial. If it's odd, you're going to have these in behavior. In behavior is what is the arrows of the function doing at each, at the left and at the right. Okay? And what I tell students is when it's a cubic, when it's an odd function, you're going to have this, or if it's negative, you're going to have this. But it's opposite directions with a cubic function. Opposite directions. You're also going to see the more extreme, the more you're going to have something like this. This is what we call hidden behavior. Hidden behavior is when you look at a graph like this and you've got it zoomed out so much it looks like this. But when you magnify it and you bring it up to a larger window, you will start to see a maximum and a what? And a minimum. You got to watch out for this. And they'll, they'll get into it a little bit here in a few minutes. Now what does the even functions look like? The even functions look like what? A parabola. What causes the hidden behavior? What type of? These two functions together. Those two functions together, you could have a, a, uh, ax to the fifth plus bx cubed, and you start seeing a lot more of this. So, but if it's by itself, it's just yeah, if it's by itself, you ain't got to worry about it too much. But with a even function, you're talking about this right here. 
Even means what? Parabola. Okay, parabola means that it's going to be a U or it's going to be, you know, different, different, you know, this may be to the sixth power. This may be x squared. This may be x to the fourth. You know, both of them, all of them are going to have the ending behavior of the same direction, going up or going down, whichever the case may be. Okay? So the next one, they're probably going to show you the, the quartic functions. That's what they're called. And that's them. Oh, they even use the word quartic. The quartic functions. Sound, sound impressive. Okay, that's the uh, sound that we get in Pendleton whenever, evidently it's some kind of sound that I get, say, in 15 minutes before class. <laughs> I don't know. It's probably it's probably the Iraqis fixing to invade us. Oh, yeah, they don't have much of an Air Force. They can't cross the Atlantic. All right, anyway, the whole point is AX to the 4th, AX to the 6th, AX to the 8th, AX to the 16th. Your ending behavior is going to be going in the same direction. Now, these questions are very easy on the test. I will give you a function, and it'll say f of x is equal to x to the third, and then it'll have two hidden behaviors to choose from. If you miss it, don't what? Tell don't tell anybody. Tell anybody. Okay. There, x to the fourth. Now, you can add these to your parent function, the family of graphs that I gave you. You can add this to it, or you can just... But but I gave you the court I gave you the squared function and then I wrote in that I showed the bottom starts to square off the higher your degree is okay so I told you that so you really don't have to add this one but just remember it turning points always always your highest degree minus one so if you have a cubic function then you got two turning points if you have a squared function you have one turning point. If you have a quartic function, you have three turning points. But you got to watch for them. Okay? There's extremes right here. There's a minimum, there's a local minimum, I mean maximum, and then a local minimum. Now, why is it called local? That's when you got more than one, basically. Okay? A maximum, here's a maximum and a minimum right here. Well, you don't, they're, they're, they're in the same graph. Now, with a parabola, why do I not have a local maximum in a parabola? Because it's the only point, it's the vertex. You don't have another point. When you have more than one, that's when you put the local in. Everybody with me? Mm -hmm. Yes, sir. And again, these are all questions that's going to be answered in the calculator. You have. Mm-hmm. See, those are the graphs right there. You got a, this is a, what is that? That's an even function, and this is a what? An odd function. How do you know? Well, the even function is going both directions. The odd function is going opposite directions. And AB and EH are local mins. CD is local max. JK is local min, MN is local max. I'm not going I'm not going to I'm not going to tell y'all what is minimum and maximum. I'm not going to insult your intelligence, okay? Shut up, Hubert. Domain and range, I'm not going to... Okay, this figure shows blah, blah, blah. Make a conjecture concerning... Okay, possible hidden behavior. I want you to graph this on your calculator. Now, why do I say they might be hidden behavior? When you see this part right here, I think this answers your question that you were asking. What's this part doing right here that concerns you? It's flattening. When you see a function flatten meaning that it's, it's, it's get, there's no slant to it versus this. See, there's no flattening there. There's no flattening there. When you start to see a function flatten, that's when you need to start being concerned. Okay? The, flat, the, the more flattened it is, 
the more you may have hidden behavior. Okay? Now, of course, if you blow this up, you're going to find you have a max and a min and a what? A max. And let me check the time before somebody self combust. 10.50. That's good enough for government work. Miss Hawthorne, remind me where we left off here, okay? Mm -hmm. All right, now, what y'all need to be working on? The test. I need to be working on the test. Any homework, or is the homework closed? This is open, isn't it? 3.3 um, and all, that's open, right? I think it's all supposed to be due, quote unquote, on the first. Okay, then y'all got time. Okay, something's going crazy with the... All right, y'all get out of here. Have a good weekend. Something's going on. Look at this. Freaking Russians, man. Yeah. They're going to throw this dadgum computer in a van and beat it up. Maybe they'll uh, cancel it. But... Yeah, whatever. All right, y'all have a good weekend. Thank you. Alrighty, thank you, you too. You too at the Pendleton campus. You you y'all have a good weekend too. Y'all can Thank say you. it. There's nobody in the room. You can say it. Yeah. Okay, say bye. 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 You're what? See ya. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. See ya. If if you can't have fun, it's not worth doing. Right. That's why I try to have fun with y'all. Why? Well, <laughs> I, I hate to say it, but that's the way. If you if you ever work in a place, people don't talk, and it's miserable. It's miserable to have a workplace where you go in. Good morning. Everybody sits there and looks at you like, "What the hell you want?" I change majors because of that. Go into civil engineering at Clemson and see if you don't change. Now, if you're an introvert and want to hang around in a closet, <laughs> knock yourself out. You know, that's my favorite as, a, as a civil engineer.